find at your home. Today we will see Math Magic Workbook Standard 4th. Now open your page number 77. In the previous video we have completed main 5 in a part 2 of chapter number 6. Now today we will see main 6. Answer the following questions on the basis of the details given in the table. Here table is given and in that uh, items also given and price also given. In short details are given. See first of all see the tables. Number, items and price. First one pens, uh, 15 pencil price is rupees 45. 10, 12 pens price is 120. Third one 8 staplers price is rupees 240. Fourth one, four sapners, price is rupees eight. And fifth one, seven fairy sticks, price is ru rupees two hundred and forty-five. Now see the first one. What is the cost of twenty-five pencil? Okay, here twenty-five pencils is given in the questions, and in the table the price of fifteen pencil is given. Okay, so here we have to do. Calculations in the rough work. See, in the questions they ask about 25 pencil and here price of 15 pencil is given in the table. So write down here, cost of 15 pencil is equal to rupees 45. So write down rupees 45. Therefore, the cost of 25 you have to find out. Cost of 25 pencil is equal to how much? Okay. Now we have to do cross multiplication. 25 multiplied by 45. 25 multiplied by 45 upon this 50. Now see. How we get the answer. See. See. Here we take 45 and 15. And both uh, both have comes in the 5 ones are table. 45 also and 15 also. 5 threes are 15. 5, 9s are 45. See? And here 3 comes and here 9. 3, 3s are 9. So here it's become a 3. 3, 3s are 9. Cut down 3 and 9 also. Here it's remaining 25 multiplied by 3. 25 multiplied by 3. And do the rough work. 25 multiplied by 3. 3 fives are 15, 5 here, carry 1. 3 twos are 6 plus 1, 7. So your answer is rupees 75. This rupees 75 is the price of 25 pencil. So write down here rupees 75. Now see the second one. First of all, see the question. What is the cost of 18 pence? See. Pens are given, but here the price of 12 pence are there. Price of 12 pence is rupees 120. So write down here, cost of 12 pence is equal to rupees 120. And here you have to find out about 18 pence. So cost of, therefore, cost of 18 pence is equal to how much? Now do the cross multiplication. 18 multiplied by 120, 18 multiplied by 120 upon this 12. Now see, here 120 and here 12. So, 12 tens are 120. So, cut down here 12 and here 120. 12 tens are 120. And what's remaining here? 18 multiplied by 10. 18 multiplied by 10 and 18 tens are 180. So your answer is rupees 180. The price of 18 pence is equal to rupees 180. Now see the third one. See the question. What is the cost of 12 staplers? Now see in the table. Staplers. The price of 8 stapler is given. So, rupees 240. And we have to find out about 12 staplers. Cost of 12 staplers. 
So write down here. Cost of eight stapler is equal to rupees two hundred and forty. And we have to find out about twelve. The cost of twelve staplers is equal to how much? So do the cross multiplication. Twelve multiply by two hundred and forty upon eight. Now see here two hundred and forty and here eight. And we know that eight threes are twenty four. So eight thirties are also twenty four. Two hundred and forty. Eight thirties are two hundred and forty. Eight threes are twenty four. So eight thirties are two hundred and forty. So here it's remaining what? Twelve multiplied by thirty. Twelve multiplied by thirty. If we do multiplications of twelve multiplied by thirty, then we get the answer three hundred and sixty. This. Three hundred and sixty is the price of twelve staplers. So write down here answers rupees three hundred and sixty. Now see the fourth one. What is the cost of thirty six sapners? Here in the questions they have asked about the cost of thirty six sapners, and in the table they have given four sapners. The price of four sapners is given is rupees eight. We have to find out the price of thirty six sapners. So in the rough work, we have to do cost of four sapners is equal to rupees eight. Therefore, cost of thirty six sapners is equal to how much? Do the cross multiplication. Thirty six multiplied by eight upon four. Now we know that in the four ones are table thirty six comes when four nines are thirty six. Four nines are thirty six. Now what's remaining here? Nine multiplied by eight. Nine multiplied by eight. Nine eights are seventy two. To pay seventy two is the price of thirty six sapners. So write down here. Rupees seventy two. See the fifth one. What is the cost of ten fave sticks? Now see in the table. Seven fave sticks. The price of seven fave sticks is a given. Is rupees two hundred and forty-five, and we have to find out ten fave stick. Okay, so doing the rough work, cost of seven fave sticks is equal to rupees two hundred and forty-five. Two hundred and forty-five. Therefore, cost of ten fave sticks is equal to how much? Do the cross multiplication. Ten multiplied by two hundred and forty-five upon seven. Okay. This is a three-digit number that we cannot recognize orally. Okay, so here we have to do rough work. See, this two hundred and forty-five divided by seven. Two hundred and forty-five divided by seven. See the rough work first of all. Seven here, ah, uh, two digit we have to take. Why? Two is a smaller than this seven. So we have to take two digit number twenty-four. Okay. Now see, seven three is a twenty-one. And seven fours are to twenty eight. Twenty eight is greater than twenty four, so we have to take seven threes are twenty one. Now see, do subtraction four minus one three two minus two zero, and this five comes now. It's a thirty five. Now in the seven ones are seven fives are thirty five. So do the subtraction five minus five zero three minus three zero. Your answer is a thirty five. Seven thirty-five is two hundred and forty-five. Now what's remaining here? Ten multiplied by thirty-five. Ten multiplied by thirty-five. Your answer is a very easy. Three hundred and fifty. So rupees three hundred and fifty is your answer. So write down here rupees three hundred and fifty is the price of ten fave sticks. Now see the sixth one. See. What is the total cost of twenty pencils and three staplers? Now they ask about two items. Okay, see twenty pencils and three staplers. First of all, see here pencils. Fifteen pencil price is given, and uh, staplers uh, eight staplers price is given. So first of all, you have to find out the price of twenty pencils and three staplers. Now see the rough work. Cost of fifteen pencils is equal to rupees forty-five, and here we have to find out about twenty pencils. So 
So cost of 20 pencils is equal to how much? Do the cross multiplication. 20 multiplied by 45 upon 15. And this uh, 15 threes are 45. 15 threes are 45. So 20 multiplied by 3. 20 multiplied by 3 it's a 60. Orally also we can do. 2 threes are 6 and this 0. So 60. So rupees 60 is the price of 20 pencil. Cost of 20 pencils is equal to rupees 60. Now next thing what you have to find out? 3 staplers. So now about staplers. Cost of 8 stapler is equal to rupees 240. Rupees 240. Therefore cost of 3 staplers is equal to how much? Do the cross multiplication. 3 multiplied by 240 upon 8. Now we know that 8 threes are 24. So 8 thirties are 240. 8 thirties are 240. What's the remaining here? 3 multiplied by 30. 3 threes are 9 and this 0. So 90. This 0 comes here. 3 thirties are 90. So your answer is a 90. 90 of what? The cost of the price of cost of 3 staplers is a rupees 90. Now we have to do the total cost. What questions they ask about the total cost of 20 pencils and 3 staplers. So write down here total cost and whatever answer we get that you have to do the additions. This cost of 20 pencils is rupees 60 plus cost of 3 staplers is equal to rupees 90. So 60 plus 90 your answer is a 150. Write down rupees. Rupees 150 is your answer. So write down in the answer rupees 150. Now see the seventh one. What is the total cost of 15 pens and 8 feather sticks? Now see in the table pens is here. Price of 12 pens are given. It's rupees 120 and 8 feather sticks they ask. So, 7 5 sticks price is given, rupees 245. So, first of all, you have to find out the cost of 15 pence and cost of 8 5 sticks. So, right, uh, see in the rough work, cost of, first of all, pence, cost of 12 pence is equal to rupees 120. Therefore, cost of 15 pence is equal to how much? 15 multiplied by 120 upon this 12. Now see, here 120 and here 12. 12 tens are 120. Very easy. So, orally you can able to do 12 tens are 120. 15 multiplied by 10. It's a remaining here. 15 multiplied by 10. Your answer is a 150. So, cost of 15 pence is equal to rupees 150 that we get. Now, see about the sticks. See, here in the table 7 sticks price is given and you have to find out about 8 sticks. So, cost of 7 sticks is equal to rupees 245. Therefore, cost of 8 sticks is equal to how much? Do the cross multiplication. 8 multiplied by 245 upon this 7. This 245 we cannot able to do orally. So here we have to do rough work. This 245 divided by 7. Then we get the answer sweet. See again we have to take 2 digit here. So 7 3s are 21. 4 minus 1 3. 2 minus 2 0. This 5 comes down. So it's a 35. And we know that 7 5s are 35. Now again do the subtractions. 5 minus 5 0. 3 minus 3 0. So answer is a 35. So 7 35s are 245. Now what's remaining? 8 multiplied by 35 is remaining. 8 multiplied by 35. See 35 multiplied by 8 also same. So see here. 8 5s are 40. So 0 here. 4 Ups, okay. Uh, 8 threes are 24. 24 plus 4, 28. So answer is rupees 280. Now we have to do total cost of what? This total cost of 15 pence 
and n plus cost of 8 fairy sticks okay so 15 pence is the price is 150 rupees 150 plus this 8 fairy stick price is 280 rupees 280 do the additions okay 280 plus 150 0 plus 0 0 8 plus 5 13 carry 1 1 plus 2 3 and 3 plus 1 4 so answer is a 430 rupees 430 is your answers so write down here rupees 430 is the total cost of 15 pence and 8 fairy stick here today we have to do up to this much only in the next video i will show you main 7 stay healthy stay safe okay bye